I chose Mill Hill because I found, for me, that it had the right balance between academics and sport. When I was looking at Mill Hill, I noticed something warm about them, the way they interact, sort of joy in being a schoolboy. Everyone is so family orientated. The teachers will happily go into effort with the individual. You feel that as soon as you come in, that you belong there and you can do anything. The people make your experience just so much more memorable and unforgettable. One of the distinctive features of the school is that we're in London, but we've got this extraordinary 120-acre parkland setting, so it feels very much as though you're in the countryside, so it really does combine the best of both worlds. Academically, school pushes us very hard, especially in upper school. You're really driven for really high standards. I think in this year alone we have 25 people looking at Oxford. Our GCSE and A-level results have been steadily improving over the last few years, and we're determined to build upon that but not by forcing children to learn. We want to make children want to learn. Subject like geography, where I was really bad at it, but my teacher, Ms. Sanchez, she just helped me a lot in geography and I got an A, a star at the end. We have a great gifted and talented programme and that's developed really strongly over the last few years. Gifted and talented is a programme that we have at the school to encourage more able learners and they push people's thinking beyond classroom ideas. You can join all these different societies. I've been part of the Lower Sixth group who have founded the Francis Crick Society and with that we've created lectures for lower school pupils. We have a full school council which entails the senior monitors sitting at the end of the table and representatives from each year contributing to the issues of their peers and then we'll tackle in a very professional way amongst the council. There are nine houses, but three of them are boarding. Boarding teaches you both about other people from other cultures, from other backgrounds, and to have a sense of give and take and of what it really means to live closely with other people. People do look out for each other in boarding because you're bound to develop a, a stronger bond, I would argue, where you live and learn to be loyal to people. You gain something that's stronger than your regular friends in the day schools. We have access to our house masters and house mistresses throughout the day. You see them uh, many times a week to talk about any manner of things if you have a little issue or just need some advice or help. The fact that the house master or house mistress is interested in you holistically, which is what makes it special. It's very important that children have a safety net and that they feel that they are safe and supported by the staff who work with them. Working with the house masters and mistresses, we have a team of tutors. You can talk to them if you need any help. They're people who can give advice about UCAS and careers advice. In Collinson we're fortunate to have an in-house matron who you can see if you're feeling ill at any time. As well as looking after things medical, she really looks after everything to do with the domestics, to do with their clothing, their laundry. Outside of the classroom there are plenty of opportunities for people to participate. What we want to do is strike an appropriate balance between pupils both taking their work seriously and enjoying it, whilst at the same time taking advantage of the huge range of other activities that we've got on offer at the school. To try things that they perhaps would never have tried before. I started playing musical instruments like the guitar, started singing something I've never done before. We have fantastic facilities, we're really lucky. We have this beautiful building. It has 12 purpose-built practice rooms, this magnificent recital hall, two big academic rooms for GCSE and A-level. On top of that, we have access to the chapel, we have the main hall, it has a beautiful purpose-built stage, and also the theatre, so there are many, many places to perform. We have something for everyone. Four choirs, a string orchestra, the jazz band for the most experienced wind and brass players, but we also have something called a shout band, which is for people who just aren't ready to take that step yet, but who really love to play. And these ensembles will run alongside their own instrumental lessons. I've joined art clubs, I've joined music clubs, I've joined a marching band. We've got the very traditional CCF type approach with Army, Navy and Air Force. We choose to go on lots of different camps. It really, really helps your leadership skills, you know, because you get put in charge of younger pupils. We've also got sports leaders, young enterprise, opportunities for people to have a go in journalism, people do some environmental community action type stuff. They try and make you to be 
a more well-rounded person, so you're not just concentrating on work all the time, you need to have that break. And they do encourage you to find something that you do love. The main sports are rugby first term, hockey second term, cricket third term for boys with some athletic summer term as well. For girls, hockey first term, netball second term and rounders third term. Around the edges of that we play some really interesting sports that are not a main sport, so eating fives, tennis is very strong. Ultimate frisbee, basketball. Golf is exceptionally strong. We're one of the few schools to have a full-time golf professional. We also have an indoor swimming pool which is heated. Netball, cross country, access to the gym. And there's horse riding also available. If you think of an activity that you enjoy, it will almost certainly be doable here. We've got some outstanding girls cricketers at the moment, one of whom is starring in our boys' first 11. It definitely shows what a diverse environment it is and how it appreciates talent, regardless of whether you're a boy or a girl. The chapel is one of my favourite places because the inside and the outside is stunning. The spiritual life of the school is really important and I think it's very, very strong. Chapel is as much as anything about values and it's about exploring not just Christian values but those of other faiths and talking about things that bind us together as a community. The general atmosphere around the school is just happy. To sum up the school I would use words such as charming, enjoyable, exciting, buzzy, accepting, friendly, diverse. You know you're always in a good place. You just don't get singled out or anything and you never feel alone. After a while you see it's really a comfortable place to be and you just feel like you've been there your whole life. By the time the pupils leave the school, they really are ready for the challenges of adult life. Whilst we strive for excellence in everything we do, and we encourage the pupils to realise their potential, we also put great store by their values and the way in which they view not just themselves but the rest of the world.